What is up you guys, welcome back to another 2 minute review with Drew. Today we're testing out the Shoe Docs Foam Zone 150 Shoe Cleaner Kit and giving it an honest review. The cleaner comes with a foam solution in a bottle, a soft and hard bristle brush, and that's about it. Now I'll be testing this out on 3 different shoes with different materials and different levels of dirtiness. The first shoe we're going to be testing is the Jordan 1 Mid in the Bread colorway, the Nike J. Crew Kill Shot, and of course the Air Max 90 Golf. Let's get started with the Jordan 1 Mid. All the other uppers make for an easy clean and they're not too dirty but they're not exactly clean. The foam bottle makes for easy dispensing. The soft and hard bristle brushes do a nice job foaming the cleaner with minimal effort. Next is the Air Max 90 Golf. These are a hyperfuse and mesh upper, definitely needing a cleanup, plenty of mud along the sides and bottoms. Once again, using both brushes to clean this up with minimal effort. And finally, the J. Crew Kill Shots. These have a leather and suede upper with gum bottoms. Definitely a beater shoe, so these are in desperate need of a proper cleaning. After letting the shoes dry for 24 hours, the Jordan 1 mids are looking brighter and cleaner than ever. The uppers are looking much nicer, but the bottoms do need some additional work. Once again, we used minimal effort with the hard and soft bristle brushes on these, so the results do speak for themselves. Overall, I would say this is a pretty positive result. Now the Air Max 90 Golf Pair does retain some of that yellowing, but that is to be expected with minimal effort. Overall, I would still give this a positive score. You do see some nice cleanups on the bottom. A little bit of that yellowing does go away with some of the effort used by the hard bristle brush. Once again, I'd say this is a positive result. And finally, we get to the J. Crew Kill Shots. Now, unfortunately, this is not a good result. As you can see, the shoe on the right, which is the one that was cleaned, developed a yellowish green color all over the uppers. I've never had this happen before with a shoe cleaner. Um, like I mentioned before, this was minimal cleaning, so the bottoms don't look too different compared to the before shoe, but that yellowish green coloring, I just have never seen that before, and I gotta say, that is just awful results. Not exactly what you wanna see when you're using a shoe cleaner, so I have to give this result a thumbs down. And that's where I'm gonna wrap up this video guys thanks so much for watching let me know what you think in the comments down below let me know what you think of these two minute reviews and until next time this is andrew signing off peace